If at first glance, you thought these are the Louis Vuitton Millionaire 1.1 sunglasses, you wouldn't be alone. These off-white sunglasses, simply called red sunglasses by off-white, are remarkably similar to the Millionaire's. As I own a pair of Millionaire's, I think I can safely say that they don't just look similar. They also feel very similar in build, materials, and feel. Considering that, and the fact that both are made in Italy, and neither is made by Luxottica, I think they may even be made in the same factory as the Louis Vuitton shades. The red acetate looks extremely similar to the red millionaires, even having some of the same type of streaks and patterns, which I really love in both. It feels solid and looks beautiful. In fact, the build quality is superb, something you can notice the moment you pick them up and when you unfold the arms. Now I have no idea what kind of arrangement Virgil Abloh has with LV, but generally, when you create something for a company, then turn around and make a very similar product for your own company, you should probably block off some dates for court. Yeah, it's that similar in design and execution, but it's a design I love, which is why I have these exact shades in the tortoise shell or Havana color as well, in addition to the millionaires. That said, I actually like the off-whites a lot better than the red millionaires. The millionaires feel a little overly embellished to me, and I feel that the gold tone trim kind of clashes with the vibrant red color. The LV lenses are also a very dark gray, which is fine, except I like the mirrored lenses on some of the other millionaire colors better, which is why I ended up exchanging my red millionaires for the white ones, where I feel the white and gold goes perfectly along with the mirrored lenses. What's even better for a vibrant red shade is the very light red toned lenses that you find on these off-whites. With the bright white arrows on the corners, it has a great monotone sort of vibe that looks simple, elegant, and really attractive. I'm not the only one who sees the pretty obvious similarity to the millionaires, and there's a legion of fans that buy these up immediately. I got a notification from Farfetch that they have one piece in stock, so I went to buy that pair right away and snatched them up. The off-white site also got stock around the same time, but within a few minutes they were completely sold out again, so I lucked out. Given that they're red, these are not for everyone. And even if you're into them being so red, they won't go with everything, or even most things. Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah, yeah, I know. You have to work to make them part of a fire fit. In my opinion, you gotta match these up with a mostly black, white, or gray fit, with maybe one or two tiny items also being a matching red. But that's fashion. Sometimes there's just things you gotta have and wear them just right, and when you do, you get the most lit fit. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for some more luxury products coming up. 